Ooh, welcome, welcome, welcome to Edward Bernays Really Sad, the show where we explore the mind of America's favorite little elitist. Oh, he leads the shadow government. He's one of the few. He loves propaganda. He's Freud's nephew. A globalist, that is. A real elitist. That's right. He's Edward Bernays. Edward Bernays. He's Edward Bernays, and he's better than you. It's time for the Edward Bernays really said. The common man is content to have his affairs run for him. Let the intelligent see to it that they do the running. If we can understand the mechanisms and motives of the group mind, is it not possible to control and regiment the masses according to our will without their knowing it? The recent practice of propaganda has proved that it is. A presidential candidate may be drafted by overwhelmingly popular demand but it is it is well known that his name will be dis, may be decided upon by half a dozen men sitting around a table in in a hotel room there are invisible rulers who control the destinies of millions i wore blue socks on monday with checker patterns on them like you wear to the to a business office before an important meeting and they're, they're a little thin for my taste but back say thirty years ago socks like that were considered thick well you heard it straight from the horse's ass's mouth folks that was some shit Edward Bernays really said except for the thing about the socks we made that shit up to recap the common man is a dope. The masses are at the mercy of the will of dudes like this, and they don't even realize it. Our choice of president is more of an illusion. Really, six dudes in a hotel room, for some reason, decide. Whoa, wh where are the other three? All right. Man, some invisible dude controls all of our destinies. This is heavy. It's reassuring. And it's not like Edward Bernays is just some sap off the street who's speaking out his butt mouth. He works closely with the highest-ranking officials in government and with the biggest corporations in the country for nearly 80 years. It is for that reason that Life magazine named him one of the most 100 influential people of the 20th century. A list they put zero presidents from that century on. Here's a small sampling of his work and the people he advised. He was a key member of Woodrow Wilson's Committee on Public Information that sold a resistant American public on the necessity of entering World War I. He advised Woodrow Wilson, Warren G. Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Eleanor Roosevelt, Eisenhower, Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and he said to have turned down Hitler. Which doesn't matter because the Nazis used his book, Crystallizing Public Opinion, as a blueprint for Nazi propaganda during World War II anyway. To this very day, Edward Bernays' work continues to penetrate every aspect of American society like a husband does his wife on the night of their wedding. Or six months earlier when they first met in a bar. What I'm saying is, Edward Bernays is f***ing us all. And there's nothing romantic about it. He's engineering our consent. Well, that seems like a good stopping point. Subscribe now, and tune in next time to find out more... Nay, he's really sad!